Welcome to Electro Online. In the previous several videos, we showed you how compounded interest works. In the case that we compounded yearly on a three-year investment with a $2,000 invested, 5% interest rate, you can see that the amount that you then ended up, the amount accumulated, is $2,315.25. So the amount of interest earned would be $315.25 compounded yearly. Simple interest would just be $300, so definitely compounding you do earn more money. And if we start a compounded monthly, M equals 12, meaning 12 conversions per year, as we say, then the amount accumulated would be $2,322.94, which means you make about $7.50 more, roughly, uh, than you would, or it's almost $7.75, you would earn more money anyway when you compound it monthly. So then the question is, how much would we earn if we compound it daily? The number of conversions then is 365. So every day the bank would then go to all the accounts and figure out how much interest rate, how much interest every account holder earned and then add that to the account. Now, of course, before we had computers, that was impossible. So with the, uh, with the invention of computers and making them usable for banks, we could calculate all the account holders' interest earned every day, add it to the account, and of course, a big, a big advertisement stunt would be, look, the next guy, they just compounded monthly or yearly. We compounded daily. You will earn more money with us. Let's go find out how much more money they would earn. Here's the equation for compounded interest. The amount earned equals the principal times the quantity one plus the rate divided by the number of conversions. Daily means M is equal to 365 times M times T. T is, of course, the number of years the money is invested in. So the accumulated amount would be equal to the $2,000 invested times one plus the rate. 5% divided by the number of conversions, 365 per year, times 365 times 3. All right, you can see that this would be very difficult to do without a computer or a calculator. All right, so starting from inside out, we go 0 0.05 divided by 365, add that to 1. Now raise that to this exponent, so x to the y button, then we go 3 times 365, okay, and then you should end up with something that looks like this. So then you have the accumulated amount equals 2,000 times the quantity 1.16182305. Of course, we don't need all those significant figures. They're not really significant, but just so if you do it on your own calculator, you would want to end up with something very similar to that. Multiply that times 2,000 and then round it to the nearest penny, the amount accumulated would be equal to $2,323.64. So let's write it down over here. So an M is equal to 365, indicating daily compounding. After three years, the amount accumulated would be equal to $2,323.64 which means you only would make an additional 70 cents of interest over three years when you invest $2,000. Really not worth even walking across the block for, right, to go to another bank that might offer you daily compounding instead of monthly compounding. Once the numbers begin to get very small, you can see that there's really not much of an additional advantage. There was a time that banks even, even said, hey, we'll go to hourly compounding, but you can imagine going from daily to hourly would only offer you maybe a couple of pennies at best and really not worth changing for. So daily compounding is by all means the best way we do it. And that's what banks do overnight. The computers crank away. They calculate all the earned interest for that day, add it to the principal. And the next day you earn not only money on the principal, but also on the additional money earned in interest. So, Daily compounding is the way the entire banking industry goes. And of course, there's still cases where you have certain types of investment where they don't do daily compounding, but that's a different story. Typically, this is your typical account in most banks today. So now, what would happen if we were to compound continuously? So every moment of every day, we keep on adding on the interest. Would that make any difference? Well, if you're interested, let's take a look at our next video and we'll see what happens then.